I'm trying to make sure that I haven't missed anything. So I want to touch base once more on the conversation that myself and the ex-girlfriend had. She admitted on the phone that after the very unexpected and tragic passing of her her son, her only son at that time, who was 18, I believe at the time, 18 or 19, I think he was 18. But following that, that she wasn't the same exact person in the relationship that she was in with Asmodeus. Interestingly enough, it's the one thing that the two of them can actually actively agree on that took place. Death is so unpredictable. It's very, it's very random sometimes. It, it really is. If it's not, you know, related to a disease and even having a substance abuse addiction is a disease, but if it's not directly related to an illness that is untreatable, it can be very traumatizing. It's so unexpected. And yeah, we know we all have to go someday, but that doesn't, that doesn't prepare you for losing a child. All that being said, there really was not much she could tell me to convince me whatsoever that there was anything that she did in the time that she was grieving that would justify Asmodeus and his, his dealings and his behavior. Because honey, if, if you can't handle her grieving the loss of her only son, you should probably fucking leave. Because not only was she grieving and going through something very traumatic, you used that tragic incident as leverage. So she's grieving and you out here running the fucking streets of California, lying to women, telling them that's your sister or your cousin, and y'all grieving the loss of your nephew. I wouldn't be okay my damn self. How do you exploit someone who has passed away? How the hell do you exploit someone's deceased child? So other women will feel bad for you and not question your whereabouts or your activities or your behavior because you can always use that as a crutch. Yo nigga, you gonna need crutches real soon cause guys are probably about to snatch those kneecaps right off your fucking legs. The shit you've done is insane. I can't really judge the circumstance, but so much because I'm not in that situation, like I'm not her. He hasn't done everything that he has done to her to me. But what I can say is, yeah, I would be locked up. I know that much. I know that much. I would have snapped and gone completely insane. I know that much. I would have a psychiatric breakdown. And I know this because of my brain struggles to compute the reality of some of this shit so much that I just know I would lose my shit. I would just lose it. If I can't even understand it right now and I'm not in the situation and it's a hypothetical, there's no way I could be in that physical position and actually not end up on a 48 hour hold. There's no telling what I would do. Knowing Asmodeus and the type of man that he is, or bitch if you will, the type of bitch that he is, he still had expectations for certain duties to be prioritized and carried out when it came to him. Everything else in my life that I was committed to and that was an obligation for me, to him was merely a major inconvenience. Even though all this shit was here before he got here, it was inconvenience. And so as Monis is the guy like, yeah, I know you're going through some things. I know you're overwhelmed right now, but I'm not gonna help you and I'm gonna still expect you to take care of me and all my shit. So I can very easily sit here and see Asmodeus really having this expectation that she's supposed to still have sex with him, that she's supposed to sit up here and still pay for his shit, that she's supposed to sit up here and still stroke his ego. Her child was taken from her. It's not uncommon that when someone loses a loved one, a child specifically, that the parents, and that wasn't even his son, but that the parents split up because they're grieving. You don't have enough game and you're not good enough. You're not a good enough prize to any women. So you have to actually stay in that relationship so you can leverage someone else's deceased son in order to get women to want you or overlook all of your other flaws. Really let that sit in. I'm telling you, every single time I blink, that man gets smaller and smaller and smaller to me. He's so fucking little and tiny. I could have stepped on him by accident in the fucking elevator. I would have thought it was just a fucking crusty ass roach. The man can't even actually address everything that I know now. He can't even address any of that shit to me. He literally can't. He's not sorry. I don't think he's gonna ever be sorry for any of the things that he does. He's just one of those guys who's sorry he got caught because this is a major fucking inconvenience. Like, bitch, hey. If you would have stayed off the internet today, you wouldn't have got your own feelings hurt and your heart broken. This shit's an inconvenience, I still need dinner. In my opinion, there's nothing that that woman could have done or said that would, you know, constitute his behavior. He's not a God-fearing man. 
Osmodeus is the equivalent of a suicide bomber. I don't want to be anywhere near somebody like that because you live like you have nothing to fucking lose. It's not being received as confidence. It's being received as catastrophic and suicidal. That's what your activity and your response to someone else's response to your activity, that's what it's giving. It's giving, I don't give a fuck about you or me or the kids.